Alex Calabresi from Men Red. Hey, Coach, real simple question for you. What just happened out there? You saw it. <laughs> I mean, I thought that we had a really good, uh, excellent 45 minutes, I would say, and then we came out the second half, and you can just see that we seemed a little bit fatigued or a little bit heavy-legged. Um, and, I mean, you look at the goals that we give up. We turn the ball over. It's a shot from 35, deflection, and then, you know, another turnover there, and uh, it's, it's a shot from 50, 60 yards out. So that's the hard one. The effort was really good uh, from the guys. I mean, we made uh, changes. I felt they brought energy onto the pitch, and we got back into the game. And, you know, obviously we had chances that maybe we could have scored another one. But, you know, it's a tough one when you come back like that and had to give up uh, – one in the end like that, it's, it's, it's really unbelievable. So, you know, it, the break would have been great. Obviously, maybe it's good that we have uh, this break in three days, a little bit to, for the guys to recover. And then there's a lot of games left in, in the season. And uh, so this was, uh, it's tough to lose in, in this way. Dan Gaetje is from Samara. So this 11 day break coming up, does it come soon enough for you after 11 matches in 36 days? Was it 11? I thought it was maybe 33. Yeah, it's just always good to go on a break on a positive note, you know. So uh, obviously this is uh, – we'll, we'll take it. You th you want to go on a positive note, but obviously, you know, the, the, the last two matches with the Open Cup and then this one, I mean, obviously playing here in front of our fans, we came out with really good energy. Uh, we played really well, 45 minutes, and then I think, you know, we dropped our tempo a little bit, but uh, so – I think it's it's a it's a good time to have a break. Obviously, it would have been better going in with with a win or with with points, but we'll take it right now and regroup. Obviously, we're gonna miss some guys because they're away with national team duty, uh, and hopefully they're they have safe travels and uh, they're back healthy. Uh, Joe Chats on Tap Sports. Thanks always for the time, Frank. Uh, just in terms of what the message is going to be over the next 11 days of training with the need for recovery as well as the team's need to turn things around in the second half of the season. Yeah, no, I mean, I just think that, you know, we're in, we're in, in this thing together to the end. I mean, we've, you know, there's a lot of games left to be, to be played. Obviously, this, you know, it's difficult getting points on our own, so we know this points at home are very crucial and important. You know, I knew we were playing a good team, but we were, Played extremely well. We had some really good chances the first half that we created. You know, we were dominating possession. And then, you know, so the message is the same. We have the next game to go look forward to. I think it gives us an opportunity to, to work on things that we didn't have you know, the luxury to do so with the amount of games. So I think that's going to be helpful and beneficial. And, and then it's just the next opponent. I'm always, you know, I think there's got to be a commitment. And there is a mentality with the guys that, you know, we need to do whatever it takes to, to try to reach the goals. There's a lot of games left. You put two or three wins together and it changes everything in this league. And, uh, you know, um, I think there's a tough stretch also coming up now when we come back because we go to Portland and then, you know, KC, you know, League's Cup, I think, after that. And then in July you have a four-game stretch at home. So, you know, but, but we just got to manage moments and games you know, uh, a little bit different because if you look at tonight, the goals that we gave up and then the goals we score and the opportunities we have sometimes doesn't add up, but that's that's the game. I know it's a difficult one for all of us uh, tonight and even our fans, but, you know, I, I know one way and I think the team just to look forward. Last and keep question, working. Adnan. Adnan Basic, MLS Multiplex. So going back to tonight, what's the environment like in the locker room following a game like that and what was the message to the guys following the contest? I mean, the, the, the locker room was quiet. <laughs> Don't expect anything else. The message was for me, it was like I, I think they had no, no issue at all with the effort that the guys put forth. You know, but on the other hand, it's just managing games and uh, moments in the game. I mean, and again, if you look at the way we, the goals we gave up and then, you know, the goals we scored and the chances we created, but, you know, I mean, it was a quiet locker room. But I spoke to the team and I just said, look, it's, it's a tough one. We, we got to move forward. There's a lot of games to, to, to play. We got to stick together. And then we got we to gotta do everything that we can in a part to, to reach our goals. And that's the message. I wish the guys that were leaving safe travels and all the best. And, and I think three days away from each other will be great. And then we're back to, back to work. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.